Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with WWE 2017 Legends. I know it's 2017, which was a year ago, but uh, you know we decided to get it since it was super cheap, super cheap box. Well, Only 90 bucks. That may not seem cheap, but it is. Compare if you look what these were worth when they first came out. They were worth a uh, four hundred dollars. They, they were not that much, cause oh, oh. but they were they were like a hundred or two dollars. So. That's pretty good. We're going to open these up. You used to get four total hits per box, three autographs, and one relic. A relic can be, include uh, a piece of some dude's uh, shirt, clothing, tie, whatever it is that they wore in and out of the ring. All right, so here we go. Well. We're opening up the box. As you can see, there are three legends on it. Sting, Undertaker, and Goldberg. And we'd be very lucky if we got at least one of them. At least one. All right, so there's... This big box is divided into two boxes, oh, wow. and each box has two hits in it. We're going to put this box in the back so you guys can see it. Which one are and, you going to uh, open? This has the two hits per mini box, and this one has another two. I'll open this one. You open that one? Okay, you can go first. Okay, open okay. the first box. Well, everybody, this is the first WWE Legends mini box. Two hits. Um, one autograph guaranteed. Hopefully there's two in here. Hmm, let's see how to, I don't know how to open this. No, 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 don't go into that. Like, put it like a little mark in there. Since, like, where it's all the slack and stuff. Sorry, folks, but Blaze is new at this. He's not very experienced with trading cards. Oh, oh okay. I uh, guess. What? <laughs> uh, there we it. go. Okay, he's pulling apart. No, no, you're going to stab the box. It's going to ruin it. Sorry, uh, we spent a lot of money on this, so we don't want to uh, damage any of the boxes because the boxes are uh, oh. boxes are still worth something. They're elite. They are. They are. Isn't that right, Zoe? Yeah. Yep. And it's for those who don't know, my sister's over here. She's being very quiet. I think she's just eager to see what we have in these boxes. I hope we can pull an Undertaker. Okay, let's see. You don't think it's gonna happen? Well, you never know. Hey, never so say rare. Never. Okay, Undertaker. we're gonna only open one pack at one, a time. One pack at a time. Okay, because this box costs a bit more than the Star Wars boxes. Oh, does it feel thick as a rep? No, just open it. I think one does. Okay, let's see. First pack. The first pack of WWE. No, there's not gonna be an autograph in every pack, but uh, you never know what you can get. We have Road Dog. Legend. Sting. Legend. Ooh, WWE Championship Triple H versus Cactus Jack. I remember that man. Harley Race. And two Harley Races. Hey, no, wait, wait, wait. Look, look, look. It's different. It's different. One is bronze. Is it numbered? No. You'll know when it's numbered. It looks really different. And that was it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was the first pack. One pack down. Okay, big boss man. Brad the Hitman Hart. Oh no. Oh, hey. it's a million dollar man. <laughs> Ted DiBiase shirt relic. Eight, 83 out of 299. Wow, that's pretty cool. I wonder, that's probably the shirt he wore in the photo. I don't know. We'll never know. <laughs> that's great. Wait, no, wait, wait. Keep it off to the side. We gotta keep all the, the relics off the side. So that means we have three autographs left. We pulled the relic first. Okay, that was good. Ah, that was good. That was good. That was, that was good. good. Dusty Rhodes, Lex Luger, and we have Big Boss Man again. Well, not again. So it's same. There's still one autograph left in this mini box. Yes, one autograph. Nick Foley. Yeah. Blue shirt. What? Interesting. WWE Heavyweight Champion Brian Pillman, the Goon. Interesting. Blue card. Oh, it's numbered oh. 12 out of 50. Are the blue ones numbered then? I guess. Okay, let me check. Just keep going. Papa Shango. <laughs> Sergeant Slaughter. And we're back to McFoley. <laughs> we have one relic so far and two, an autograph in one of these. Or this? Rob Van Dam. Oh. And we have Brittis the Barber Beefcake. This guy brought scissors to the ring. 151 
out of 199. That's, that's a nice autograph right there. Interesting autograph. I've never actually seen anybody pull that autograph. Ric Flair? Yeah, so the goon is numbered out of 12 out of 50. So I guess the blue ones with the blue sides have a number on them. Gary Taylor. Is that... That's a, that looks like be. a gold. It looked like it would be numbered. Larry Zabisco. Zabisco. And we have Rob Van Dam again. So yeah, we have back. all the autographs and relics are gone. Still, we'll go through these really quick so we can get on to the other autographs. And all the autographs are on card. That means they physically picked up the card and signed it. <laughs> and not just some sticker. Like my Sika Roddy Roddy Piper. Uh, rest in peace. Rick Flavors, Mr. Perfect in a loser leaves town match. Uh, rest in peace. Mr. Wonderful Paul Ornidorf. I think he's still alive. Jerry Sags. No, he's still alive. And we're back to this guy. Uh, rest in peace. Oh, okay. A lot of legends are uh, dead, you know. I think he's part of the Samoan family, so he's like relatives with the rock and stuff and all that. Jim the Anvil Neidhart. Ooh, nice. Norman Smiley, WCW, WCW Hardcore Champion. Mm. Kevin Nash. Legend. Jake the Snake Roberts. Amazing. Gerald Briscoe. Uh -huh. And that guy. Jim the Thank Anvil Neidhart. And that was the first Whoa. box of. WWE Legends. Okay, now we're handing it over to Xander. So far, Blaze, you're getting Brutus Beefcake. So far. What? So what? far. Yes, what? I'm sorry. So far, you are. But if we pull an Undertaker, Sting, or Goldberg, then you'll get to keep both of them. <laughs> okay, so now, uh, switching places. Uh, this is my uh, box of WCW Legends. We are going to be opening up. This is the last box of cards we have today. And so we go back into our rooms and do nothing for the entire night. So this is the last <laughs> piece of excitement for our... Our day here, and probably for your day too. You're probably just laying in your bed or in your house or somewhere, just watching this with nothing else to do other than pick up uh, one of these boxes or keep watching all of the other videos of Z Rice Films. We have a lot of entertaining stuff that you guys might uh, like to see. All right, here we go. Okay. We have the packs, uh, not open, but we have the packs ready. Ugh. <sighs> a lot of cards, a lot of cards. And if you watch, if you like this video, please go check out our other video that we posted earlier, which was the Star Wars black and white cards. Again, we're going to be opening up these packs one at a time. And here we go. We have Miss Elizabeth. Ooh, Macho Man's wife, Bobby the Brain Heenan, great announcer, Snorkel Steve Austin. I have a shirt of his. D. Lo Brown. Haven't seen a lot of his matches. Big John Studd. He's a big, big, big dude. I think he was like six foot eight or something. Yeah, he's uh, he's pretty big, pretty tall, if you ask me. All right, uh, here we go. Alundra Blaze, very nice. Haku, very nice. Triple H World Heavyweight Championship. Haku again, uh, but this time it's a has like a bronze background, I guess. And the Undertaker, of course. In my opinion, he is the greatest of all time. Uh, Michael Mayhem doesn't think so. He thinks uh, Shawn Michaels is the greatest of all time, which I can't argue. Shawn Michaels is good, but he's no Undertaker. You see, they're different. They're different. Shawn and Michael, if you're watching this, then you know, then you know I was already going to say that. Kevin Nash, uh, WWE Champion of The Rock versus Stone Cold Steve Austin in a no disqualification match. Did this pl take place on Raw or something? Oh. WrestleMania, never mind. Mm -hmm. uh, like, oh, we saw that match. I'm retarded. It wasn't open. Oh Alondra Blaze, again, with another uh, border British Bulldog. And Bruce Barbikovic, hey, who we have an autograph of over there. That should be interesting. And, well, we only have three packs left, and two of them have autographs, so we don't know what's going to be happening here, folks. This is getting pretty down to the core. This is autograph or no autograph right here. Most likely an autograph. It's a bit bent. Maybe there is an autograph. Sensational. Sherry, Terry Runnels, Chris Jericho. Is that our autograph behind him? No. Cruiserweight Championship, Brian Nobbs. He would go with Jerry Sags and Iron Sheik. So that means, ladies and gentlemen, the last two packs. What are the chances? The last two packs in the box are autographs. So we will see what we have here. Let me put it with the other ones. See, uh, 
Uh, my brother over here thinks we're going to get an Undertaker autograph, but my sister doesn't think so, but we'll see what happens. Do you think we are? Yes. Do you think we are? Oh, no. <laughs> well, my camera's about to die. We only have four minutes left. Uh, so let me open these packs within the next four minutes, and we'll probably have a huge celebration if it is or if it isn't. That's going to be a good legend. I hope. We have, wait, is the autograph over here? Yes, it is. I see it. We're going to move that to the back so we don't, so we don't see it. We're going to move that to the back. Um Umaga. Kevin Von Erich, part of the legendary Von Erich family. Pat Patterson. And the last autograph is, I mean, the, I mean the, the second autograph is, oh, wait, I messed up. I think there's still one more. Oh, Eve Torres. And the last autograph is... Eve Torres, oh my god. 55 out of 99. She's a legendary wrestler. She's been around for a very, very long time. So we'll put her over there with Brutus Beefcake. And hopefully this last one is a legend. Somebody on the box up there. Zora, you're shaking your head. What's, like, what's going on over here? You don't. You haven't seen their matches. But see, she's actually worth more because... Jack Look, 55 out of 99. Only 99. My 99 of those ever made. All right, this last pack does have an autograph. My camera only has three minutes to stay alive. Uh, Mr. Wonderful Paul Wardenorf, Rick Flair, and congratulations, you have received a oh Lex Luger with a shirt. Isn't that great? We have a double on our last one along with. Uh, Bobby the Brain Heenan and George Animal Steel. Well, we have, at least we got that. That's really cool. Numbered out of 50, only 50 of those in the world. We have Lex Luger, Eve Torres, and Brutus the Barber Beefcake, and the relic of uh, Million Dollar Man Randy Savage. I mean, pff, Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase, sorry. What? I messed up super badly in that one. Well, thank you everybody for watching. What? This was Zoe and Blaze. What? And me. Thank you very much. And should we do more unboxing videos? I think we should. Coming up in October, they're coming out with Stranger Things boxes. So we're going to get, of course, a few of those. Goodbye.